Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip and we are on my favorite map. Well, mm, second favorite, tied for my favorite, I don't know. But yes, Badwater. Gold Rush is uh, up there too in my favorites. But anyway, we are watching an Australian Highlander team match. Uh, we saw these guys before. I casted it with High GPS, their match on Greenery. I was promised that Badwater is also a stellar map and really, when is Badwater not a good match? Um, yeah, I, so. Anyway, happy to cast this. It is between Familiar Void and Mayonnaise Revolution. Which, I feel like Mayonnaise could use a revolution. We need to rethink Mayonnaise. Um, right now though, I'm seeing not a lot of suicides up on the cliff right here. Maybe Mr. Birdfire, the engineer for Mayonnaise Revolution, can get this together. If so, he'll have my respect. Um, where did he even go? Ah, there he is. Running across. Mm, we'll see what he can do, and if his team can hold off, then probably uh, won't we have a problem holding this upper position. So we will see what kind of offense Blue decides to come up with. Um, sending a scout out to um, probably scout. Um, so far, taking a lot of fire from the opposing scout, who's going to win the scout battle? Uh, oh, Mr. Flack Monkey comes in and ruins it all, but Mangled goes down. So have your classes coming up now. Now that they know there's no sentry gun immediately out there. Sometimes sentry guns will be on the cliff right here. It's harder to get those up because there's not a lot of ammo near there. Oh no! Medic drops to Mr. Mental Gin. Did not get that on cam, but what a great pick right there. Um, not having that uh, medic is going to really significantly delay that push for uh, Manny's Revolution. And it looks like... Mm, Bir Mr. Birdflyer, fire, or just, I guess, Birdfire. <laughs> I really want to call them all Mr. Something, but he did get his level 3 up and working on everything else. Uh, everything's a little close together, so he's got to watch out for um, maybe some spam coming in there, but if his pyro is near him, he won't have to uh, worry too much because that air compression will be able to blow away any demo spam or anything like that. Here comes the cart, just with a million players on it, that sentry gun is not able to reach them, and so Birdfire is moving that sentry gun. They don't know, Blue Team doesn't know that it's there and moving, so it's probably going to be able to take down a bunch of people right there. Taking down the soldier, taking down the engineer, the heavy has spotted it out. Um, oh, he's in good positioning right there, and Birdfire decides to bring it back a little bit. Not a bad idea. He really needs the support of the rest of his team, though. Blue is just rolling it and the sentry gun is still up. Um, he decided to move it back to where it was. Meanwhile, this is really confusing. Um, medic for red, I believe. No, he's still up. Tyken manages to escape it. Oops, I forgot to, uh, forgot to do that. There we go. Uh, sound muted and item sapped, so Mr. Bird or Birdfire's stuff has gone down, enabling a nice push from Blue right here. They're gonna walk into a heavy, but don't worry, Pseudo has Uber and pops it on his heavy. Doing a good job keeping this push forward, but they really need to take the roof right now. If Red establishes any sort of defense on the roof, Blue's gonna have a really hard time pushing forward around this corner and this windy track here. Looks like there are a few Red players up there. Oh, but Mr. Flack Monkey, or Flack Monkey goes down, and um, not gonna be able to defend for too much longer. Mr. Morbid Mouse is behind. We'll see if he can get anything, but uh, I'm pretty sure that sniper bumped and knows he's there. We're gonna stick on his cam actually for a second. The point is capped. Well, um, two minutes and 38 seconds, which is a very nice time. Um, so, Familiar Void just rolling right now. Gonna have to see if Manny's Revolution can put up a good defense on point C or the third point. Oh, can he get a stab on Pseudo? And he does! Morbid Mouse. Moose. Whoops. Moose, Morbid Moose, um, his patience finally paying off and getting Pseudo, taking him down, that's gonna buy Tyken a nice uber advantage, we'll see if Red decides to use it. Look how far Blue is pushing up right now, there's just nobody on Red except a single lone demo and a single uh, pyro, so I guess they're not single and lone. But um, nice kill right there from Casey, he's able to take uh, down the pyro and actually enable his team to push up a little further, Zoe takes down Mr. Grand Rye Sandwich, Hoovy. Or just Grand Rye Savage movie. <laughs> um, but that's actually not going to be enough for Manny's Revolution to push forward anymore. Actually, Birdfire is setting up a sentry gun right here, which could work if his team is able to hold this position long enough to let him get something in. It's not a bad sentry position, but he doesn't have a dispenser right on him yet, so he's going to run have to run back and forth um, to this 
ammo pack, which is a full ammo pack. Um, and actually moving a sentry gun right now, too. Mm -hmm. See what he decides to do with that. But meanwhile, Familiar Void just pushing, pushing, pushing. They have 75% uh, Uber. I think right now would be an excellent time to take in the demo for Mayonnaise Revolution and just pick off that medic before Pseudo can get an Uber. Not able to do it, and the heavy is on the cart. Manages to creep it in. Not a bad job at all by um, the big man. The big man in plaid. Well, sometimes. I'm not sure, actually, if uh, Van Clash is wearing plaid. S but that plaid shirt is pretty awesome. Just gonna say, they should make it for the engineer. And in real life. They probably do make plaid shirts in real life, as far as I know. Um, Birdman! Birdfire! <laughs> Mr. Birdfire doing a great job right here of defending. Uh, Uber is pop. Tyken forced into that, probably. Um, not a bad pop. He's not going to be at that bad of a disadvantage because Pseudo did go down. Oh no! Zoid getting a nice dab on Birdfire. Pirate was not running Homewrecker, so he's not able to save it. And that is the break Familiar Void needed to push around this corner. This corner can be so hard on Badwater if there's a sentry there, but uh, Zoid from Familiar Void was able to get in there and break that, uh, break that uh, little stalemate we had going on for a second. Not exactly stalemate, but just good defense, you know? Hard to have a stalemate on payload, I guess. So, we're gonna watch Mr. Menchelchen, who already made the medic drop once. We'll see if he can't do something else. Um, didn't manage to get Pseudo in there, but he sees him and he wants him. Uh, Pseudo actually taking a ton of damage from that shot right there. He was down to about 30 health, and Mr. Menchelchen probably called that out to his team, said, Medic lit! Which I never really understood. It sh you should just say, Medic hurt. Medic lit doesn't make any sense. Hopefully someone will be able to explain that to me. Um, Mr. Betrelton getting the kill on Mangled. Um, interesting hold up here by Red. Actually, managing to survive this Uber from Blue. Oh, actually not for long. Heavy ran out of ammo, but look at that. The Medic and Heavy for Familiar Boy did go down in that push. Uh, Tyken, meanwhile, is alive, so he's going to have a significant Uber advantage. And we'll see if he decides to use it, though. Scout battle going on, and Mangle taking out Zoidbugger. Um, so, oh, Uber popped on uh, the Pyro, but not in time to save his life. Actually, he does manage to take down the Heavy right there with Afterburn, I think. And um, Tyken managing to survive. At this point, he wants to fall back. He already did a successful Uber. Successful meaning he survived it. So uh, time to fall back. Yes, he's actually, I think he took a sniper shot in there. Um, super hurt. So oh, grabbing a sandwich, though. He is all right. Ready to go after that um, was it ham. I would assume it's ham. Ham and cheese and lettuce. Sounds delish. Mr. Mor or Morbid Moose getting some kills. We need to get on his cam when he comes back up. Um, love this this teleporter um, exit by Design. It's so protected and um, gives your your teammates a great advantage when they're coming in, uh, spawning, teleporting in because then they're able to get up here, assess what they want to do, and. Um, like this medic just jumped down. Not exactly oh, what you want to do right there. Let's see, Tyken has his 100%. We'll see if he can do anything or if he wants to do anything with it. I would suggest trying to um, get up there and get that teleporter position because the teleporter is pretty key. Uh, oh, forced to pop. Not exactly sure if that was the right idea. They were just being um, harassed by a scout right there. But Mangle does go down. We'll see uh, how far Red decides to push up. Probably shouldn't go too far. It looks like they're spamming the, sent the teleporter placement right there. And oh, Tyken goes down, Mr. Suave Chicken Adobo, <laughs> getting a flare shot in on him, managing to take him down. Nice work. Mr. Zoidberg coming in from behind. Can he get this medic kill? He really wants it. Not able to. Pseudo. Um, is crit scene interesting, but actually goes down to a backstab from a morbid moose. Again, he died before I could get on his camera. Um, but Blue, look how far Blue is pushed up right here. They just need to continue their role and they'll be able to do it. But Mr. Casey is not about to let that happen. He is super hurt right now. Oh, demo on him, but nice flare shot. Takes him down. If anyone can stop it, Casey can, but Casey can't. Oh, very sad right there. Um, but excellent match. Aim at 40 seconds is a great time. Oh, well, not great, but it's not bad. 
Let's take a look at their rosters real quick. I think we managed to mention everybody, but we uh, for Mayo team, oh, the Mayo Revolution, we have Tykin as Medic Morbid Moose, is Spy Casey, is Pyro, Mental Gent is Sniping, Grand Rice Sandwich Hoovy is Heavy, Mr. Zoid Burger is Scout, Birdfire is Engineer, Flak Monkey is Soldier, and Mr. Boss is Demo, or just Boss. <laughs> For Familiar Void, we have Van Clash as Heavy, Pseudo is Medic, Zoid is Spy, Design is Engineer, Mangled is Scout, Mr. Suave Chicken, Adobo is Pyro, Fosm, Fossil, I'm just gonna call him Foz, is Demo, the Doctor is Soldier, and Wurti is Snipeam. Now, already we're seeing a lot of suicides up here for the uh, the engineer for Familiar Void, so they look like they're a little more familiar with this <laughs> void, if you will. Um, working up that teleporter so those people who suicided can get back to um, front lines as soon as possible. So I'm um, pretty sure that DD Sign is going to have that level 3 up and... What? Was the Uber popped right there? Oh my goodness. Um, I think the medic panicked because uh, Van Clash was taken down by headshot immediately. So he panicked and popped his Uber. Um, not the best move. It's pretty much what you don't want to do. And then gets targeted down by the uh, scout right there. So Van Clash will be coming out. And I'm sorry, my mouse just ran out of battery. So we have to quickly switch it. This mouse is five years old, and the battery is just ridiculously terrible. So, engineer stuff going down. Um, that um, spy is still alive. Looks like Baloo. Um, actually, no. Uh, spawn's coming in just in time for Familiar Void. They're going to be able to defend this a little bit longer, but they need to get on the cart. They have this upper ground, but again, this cart is being pushed. Familiar Void should be shouting, cart, 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 in their comms right now, because that is what I would be doing. No! Oh man, uh, Manny's revolution is just continuing their role. Finally, finally, Familiar Void um, realize they need to get to the point and get to the cart. Uh, Van Clash doing some nice work as heavy right there, but he lost his medic, not what you want to do. So Pseudo is down. Tyken is going to have a nice advantage. And um, just the soldier and Pyro right now trying to defend anything, but uh, right now you just got to fall back and build on the roof. Pretty much the only thing you can do right now, oh, except if you're the doctor. Oh no, doctor goes down to morbid moose. So we'll see if um, si Design is able to get anything about the roof, and it looks like he's not. I'm guessing he's fallen back even further. Um, I don't know about that. We'll see what he manages and has managed to put up. Uber's pop Tyken taking in his heavy, doing a great job. Um, looks like they took down Van Clash there, posing heavy. So, gonna have a nice advantage to push in here right now, but Tyken is actually pretty hurt. He needs to get a sandwich or get on the cart. And, um, cart is capped. Second point. Um, time is ticking down. Six minutes and 30 seconds left to cap these other two points. And, uh, looks like Manny's Revolution is, has a good time right now. They will probably be able to do it. Um, gotta watch out for the scout behind the medic. Uh, is he gonna be able to? No, Mangled goes down. So, um, good protection for this the medic right there. Um, pseudo going down to some spam from Boss. Excellent work right there. So Boss getting a pill and taking down the opposing medic going to be very significant. Oh no, spy in the cart, spy in the cart. So he takes down Mr. Grand Rye, or Grand Rye Sandwich. Oh, but here comes Casey in from behind, taking down Design's sentry gun. He was trying to go for the placement up here. Not a bad position. I like it a lot, but he was not able to get it up to a level 3 in time, and taken down by one single pyro. Never a good feeling. Um, a Morbid Moose. We're going to stick on his camp for a second, because he really wants this. Uh, medic, can he get it? Oh, yes, he managed to take down Pseudo with a side swipe. Oh, good pick right there. That's going to help his team significantly because Tyken now has a full uber advantage. We're going to have a spy on spy battle, which are always pretty ridiculous to watch. And I think it's actually over. <laughs> Once one spy goes invisible, it's like, well, now, now I can do nothing. So Tyken um, does pop his uber a little premature, maybe, but actually, no. Rai sandwich taking down Van Class and Suave, the. Uh, the pyro, so looking really good. I was gonna say that uh, that Uber was a little premature. They should have saved it for a sentry gun, but right now there is no sentry gun up, except it's a mini. Uh, oh, 
Morbid Moose doing a good job distracting the engineer so he's not able to build up his sentry. His dispenser goes down, and this is looking very good right now for Mayonnaise Revolution. Here comes a demo with some spam and actually Fozums. Fozzy Foz takes down the players on the cart doing a nice defense right there. However, the uh, boss, the blue demo, still alive, but not anymore, actually. So there we go. Blue's push right there is going to be stopped right in its tracks, literally. Uh, unless this uh, soldier, nope, soldier's down. So, oh, Spy creeping in! Can Red get on the cart and defend it? Yes, they will be able to, but oh my goodness. Here comes a scout, though. Scout targeted down. Zoidberger going down. Oh, man, so, so close. That cart is just so ridiculously close. Red has to hold onto it for at least 20 seconds before it will start to fall back, and all Blue has to do is sneeze on it. Red right now should stack the point with their players. Um, but they're just not doing that. They have one pyro on the point, which is not a bad idea, but uh, you could always use more. Uh, Van Clash is actually pretty far up in position right here. If I were him, I would... <laughs> if I were him, um, I would be on the cart, but no, no one was on the cart, and Mayo Revolution able to take it. Uh, so it looks like they're calling good round, which means we'll have more rounds to go. Yay, because I love bad water. I love it so. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what it is about Bad Order that I love. But um, for Highlander, it's just perfect. It allows every class to show its advantages and um, highlight what makes that class unique. Like Scout, a lot of room to run, a lot of options for flank. For Spy, as we've seen, um, Zoid do, and also Morbid Moose. Um, just allows a ton of opportunity to get behind the um, medics and get those huge picks that allows your team to push. Heavy medic, obviously, um, will always be a dominant couple. Um, <laughs> couple in this point, meaning two people, not a relationship couple. But um, So they can really do a lot of damage with each other, which we've obviously seen. Um, heavy medic usually at the top. In this case, Mr. Zoidberger for mayonnaise, doing lots of... Um, getting lots of points right there for his team, so we'll have to keep an eye on him, and then also Zoid for Familiar Void doing some nice work as well. And you see the uh, suicides again. A sentry gun placement is was where it was pretty much the first time. Medic is so what out of position right now. I'm not sure what Sudo is doing. Uh, he should be up here on the cliff with his heavy defending, waiting to pop that uber when blue comes in. Finally, looks like he's getting there. Um, getting the... Oh, <laughs> interesting. Um, helping, trying to help out getting that kill on the spy. But uh, he really needs to focus on um, staying with that sentry gun and helping to keep it up as long as possible. Also, Van Clash went down right there. Not a good, uh, not a good feeling. Um, we'll watch as Blue is just sitting on the cart, snow opposition in the tunnel, and look at this, they even have a mini sentry gun outside of the entrance to the tunnel. Um, that is pretty ballsy right there. We'll see if the, oh, the sentry gun can't quite reach the players on the cart, and um, though Red is trying their hardest, their darndest to push that, or to stop the cart from being pushed, they can't do it. Sudo has 100% uber and he finally pops. Oh my goodness, he held on to that way too long. He should have held, popped it much earlier. Now he's getting bounced and he is most definitely dead. Um, around this time, I taunt, because there's just nothing else you can do. So I usually take a bow. Um, Van Clash, though, managing to get that back teleporter um, that back teleports, so he can come in from behind, but Blue certainly has to know it's still there. Yes, indeed, it looks like Morbid Moose is going to be able to take out that Inji stuff that was left over after the Inji died. Um, little bit too long to get that stuff, because Red actually did get some backward spawns. I mean, look at this, the Demo Man is so far up right now, we'll see if he can't get anything, just spamming away right now. Um, uh, probably should just fall back at this point. And indeed he does. We'll see if Red has upper attic, or, um, roof is the word for it. Um, but actually it looks like it's going to be contested right now. Design was not able to get anything up in time, and, uh, he goes down. So he's going to have to fall back even further and build on, I would say at this point, build on last. Or 
because blue is just looking so dominant right now, they uh, design really needs to build up a hefty defense if he can. And now realize that uh, Zoidbugger may be getting a lot of these points by just the virtue of pushing the card so much. Um, but hey, nothing wrong with that. Doing your job as a scout. Morbid Moose trying to get uh, Medikill right there, not able to do it. Mm, missed a few swipes, but can't um, fault him too much for that. Ooh, crit's coming in at a perfect time. Oh, actually, just a little too early. Um, Van Clash could have gotten a lot more damage with that, but not able to. But hey, doesn't matter. Got the Medic. Got the Medic and the Pyro before going down right there. Cart is so close to being capped right now. Um, that's going to buy Red a little bit of time. I don't know if Design... Let's find Design. He is building at last. Probably a good idea. He could build right here where uh, he did last time, but it's risky. It is very, very risky. And I... Don't know about that. Ooh! Zoe just a little bit too late. Could not prevent the cap by getting the kill on the soldier, so not a bad idea. Going for headshot while he's in midair. That's pretty ballsy. We'll see if he can get it. And does. Takes down Mental Jin. And not a bad job right there. Hopefully, Mental Jin called it that spy out to his teammates. Otherwise, Zoe could do a lot of damage right here. He's actually been followed by the scout, and I don't know if he didn't realize it or. Oh, he's dead ringing. He doesn't care. One scout. Poof. Poof, he says. We're gonna stay on his cam for a second. Even though the card is being pushed, he can get in behind here and do a chain stab if he so desires. Does he get it? Yes, he gets Tyken. So, nice job right there. And Dead rings out of it. So, he will be able to do a little bit more damage. Actually, where is he right now? He's super, super hurt. Um, I don't know about that. We'll see what he can do. So, actually doing a lot of work right there for his team. There he is. Here he is. I'm going to put the sap on the mini sentry and then go for, ooh, some action up here. Birdfire wanting to be very aggressive as an engineer, which I always love. So, he's setting up a teleporter in uh, right outside the map room. Map room is named, of course, for this map. It's very clever, I know. I wish I had come up with it myself, but I did not. Oh, scout battle to the end, to the finish. Oh, how is he still alive? Mangled finally going down to the metal fist from Birdfire. Um, so Birdfire is going to be able to do a little more building here. No, he goes down to some nice stickies from Foz. Um, get back on Zoid Cam, because love watching good spies. It's just so satisfying seeing those backstabs. And if you get a chain stab, so nice. Going for the stair stab. Not able to get it. Uh, Mental Jin's just a little too on it. <laughs> he is bringing out the pan, which I love. Um, going again for the stair stab. Not actually able to do it. Uh, Mental Jin's got to know that he's still alive. Nope. Oh, how did Zoid miss that? Absolutely ridiculous. Um, I think he was complaining about lag earlier, so... Yeah, he's got, uh, he's flirting with a hundred ping right there, so, um, yeah, I probably have some, probably having some issues right there. We will watch some sniper action, where T is bottom on his team in points, but, you know, that doesn't mean too much. He could be doing a lot more work, uh, with Jurati, and just, but the presence of a sniper dot around this corner is so, um, intimidating and can prevent... Uh, any pushes sometimes. You just see that sniper out there and you do not want to push in. As a medic you say, nope, no thank you, I will just sit here. So uh, again, if the sniper doesn't have those points, doesn't mean he's not doing work. Of course, he could just be lazy, I don't know. <laughs> I always assume the best of people though. Uh, Tyken, so danger zone right now, very very hurt and everybody knows that. Um, but right now his team does have a slight numbers advantage, but their heavy is down. He's gonna push in with the super anyway. No, he's not. He is definitely... Uh, I don't know, the sniper isn't up, so he isn't in danger of being sniped. And with the rest of his team here just spamming down the sentry, actually looking pretty good, does pop that uber eventually. And blue just coming down and wiping out familiar void. So Mayo Revolution is doing some work indeed. Can they continue the push in? Oh my god, what? Oh, one pyro left on the point. He can use that compression blast to just blow people away. He needs to stay on the cart though. Oh my god. He's still alive, this pyro. Oh my god, Casey for the win. Absolutely ridiculous. Casey, um, MVP, 
Even if he didn't get the most points, he would still be MVP right there. Absolutely crazy. Seven minutes, a nice time for for Mane's revolution. We'll see if Familiar Void can put together a nice push. I don't know. I don't know. But remember, Mane's revolution is winning. Um, up one point, I believe. Sometimes I just get so into the matches I forget about who is um, scoring and winning or who has won the first round. But I feel like that's a sign of a good round um, because it's really fun and then points don't matter, right? <laughs> Whose line is it anyway? What a great show, am I right? Um, I'm right. Um, we're not seeing any suicides from Red. Which um, could be a strategic thing because often, uh, because sometimes the spawn times are just way too long and you can't risk that 15 second spawn and maybe not having your sniper out in front, on the front lines. That sniper dot, I'm telling you, it is so much more of a uh, mental game than physical sometimes. Just that, that dot can, can, can break your soul and kill, kill ya. Um, lots of frags and Rockets going down. Uh, Flak Monkey is the first to go down, though. Not having that soldier, though, may be an issue. He will not be able to bomb in and um, and challenge the medic. But actually, Scout and Pyre and Spy, Spy, getting in there to do some work on the medic. Look at Mr. Morbid Moose trying to get in there, but actually finally going down. The Uber is still held right now for Pseudo, deciding to push Tunnel with the Uber instead of higher ground. Interesting choice there. We'll see if it works out for them, because they will have to deal with um, the center gun placement, which is so far away from the cliff. They will probably not be able to do it. Medic trying to get up there and block some of the, or draw some of the fire and actually able to do it. Van Clash getting in there, um, but he goes down and oh my goodness, Pseudo is in so much trouble right now and Pseudo goes down. Mental Gen also taking down Design, the uh, offensive engineer. So looks like a successful defend right there. Pseudo making a very sad face in chat right there because uh, he was very close to um, getting a kill with his bone saw but not able to do so. So, Birdfire rebuilding. I'll see if he can't get that to level 3. I think he should really move the gun up uh, so it overlooks the track right here because look at this, the engineer is just pushing all by himself and nobody is on him right now. Um, the heavy is. Why isn't no one looking at the cart? Oh my goodness. Okay, so the, finally the gun is repositioned and. Oh, but. Design just doing it by himself. Here comes a soldier in from behind, but does it matter? Got the cart. Um, a nice cap right there by the NG, the little NG who could. Oh, out of ammo is Grand Rye the heavy, so he has to find some before he can continue. He's just spamming, he's just shooting all around. Probably very paranoid about spies because Zoid has been doing some work as we have seen. Uh, has also spotted out the enemy medic and a little um, collection of blue players right here. Looks like Zoid um, is unhappy about uh, Casey's work as a pyre, which means you're doing excellent work. Oh, Morbid Moose getting getting design right there, so he can't do his little pushes that he loves to do. Morbid Moose running into the other spy. We'll see. He does manage to get behind the lines. Um, very excited about what he's gonna do here. Spots out the medic. Medic is. Mm, he could do it. Oh no. Casey though. Or no, um. The uh, other Pyro is on the job. Suave is his name. Suave Chicken. <laughs> suave Chicken. I've never seen a Suave Chicken. I refuse to believe that that exists. Also a Flak Monkey. I've never seen a Flak Monkey. Look at Blue push up. They have that Uber. Oh no! Oh my goodness. Fan Clash goes down just as the Uber was popped. Unfortunate there. Oh my goodness. Pseudo, what are you doing? Oh, we're having a medic battle. That is what we're doing. Uh, see who can win. Oh, other players had to interfere. So sad. When the when a medic takes on a medic with a with a bone saw, you back up. You let them do their thing. I I feel like that's just a. A gentleman's rule. <laughs> People complaining about lag again. Um, 
as far as I know, this is an Australian league, so I'd assume they're all in Australia or probably New Zealand. Don't know too much about um, how that lag and ping will affect them. All I know is pretty much Europe and uh, wow, the sniper battle is just epic. Um, nobody can make their shots. Mental Gen and Wurti going at it. Uh, looks like mm, maybe giving up on that. Maybe deciding it's pretty futile. And actually, Morbid Moose taking down Wurti. So yeah, you don't even need that sniper battle. Tyken and his heavy trying to retake the roof right here and actually doing a pretty good job. Looks like Birdfire is going to be able to rebuild. And they will be able to defend the roof for a little bit longer, especially since they have that Uber. And look at the time. Two minutes, less than two minutes and 30 seconds left. Two and a half minutes to push the cart all the way to the end. I do not foresee this happening unless there is a huge collapse on defense by Red. But right now they're aren't looking too bad. I mean, they have a level 2. This is going to be level 3 very shortly. Should probably get a teleporter up um, if Birdfire has that on the other end. If he doesn't have the entrance, of course, an exit is pretty useless. Um, needs to get a t dispenser as well. Um, Red Uber is popped on the roof to defend their position. We'll see if Van Clash can't, or sorry, if Grand Rye can't get any kills with this pushing down. Oh, but no, he's probably gonna explode. No, falls back. So a nice um, decision to fall back right there. Pseudo going down to the scout. Oh man, that's got to hurt. And that is pretty much going to um, secure the win for Manny's revolution. The I don't think it's physically possible anymore for um, them to get the cart to the end in 1 minute and 20 seconds. My math might be wrong right there, but um, it's definitely not going to be possible with a level 3 sentry gun on the roof and no uber to speak of. Blue's trying to do anything they can, going to do a soft push on the roof, probably maybe hold out for the uber, but right now they just need to fall in. Not going to be able to do this with um, if they wait too long for that uber. So, um, this is gonna be GG. I saw someone already in chat call it. Red is just doing an excellent job. Um, Sundry Gun is down on the roof. Interesting. We'll see if they can't continue this push. Actually, they are doing this push, so they're gonna be able to cap it, but, uh, Uber is popped. Of course, you can't push when you have that Uber. But there we go. 23 seconds left. Um, great cap. It'll do something for morale. But uh, it's not going to win them the game. Um, excellent final push there by Blue. The defense for Red actually did fall apart there, but um, it's just not enough time. So a good final push from a Familiar Void. But Mane's Revolution able to defend it. So excellent work right there. Mane's Revolution taking it 2-0. Absolutely ridiculous, a lot closer than um, than you'd expect. Here are the final scores. Look at Zoid. <laughs> and actually, uh, Morbid Moose, not far behind. So there we go, an excellent match. Thank you so much to Van Clash for sending me in these matches. Um, love, 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 Badwater, and love, 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 those lower um, level Highlander stuff. But you know what? There's some really good plays in there, I think, Zoid. Um, and um, some of the um, uh, scout picks, also very good. And some sniper action, very nice too. Anyway, in some lovely game. Had a lot of fun casting it, thanks to Man Clash. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and if you have any fun matches like this, scrims, matches, anything really, I also cast pubs um, and pugs. So whatever you have, send it my way. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a good day.